Hey there, my lovely Capricorns. Getting ready to do your reading. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Okay, Capricorn. This is going to be a you versus them reading today. So I'm going to start with your energy. And then we will do theirs. Um, and then we're going to do the connective energy and anything else that obviously Spirit wants to tell you. Okay, we'll mix it up. Some messages and some, some other oracles here. Flip this over. That's interesting. That was turned over. I have no idea why it does say daydreaming. Somebody may be daydreaming about the other person here. All right, so clear. Spirit, give me Capricorn's energy in this situation with their person, please. Uh oh. There's somebody here walking away, it looks like. So physically walking away, moving away from something. Capricorn's energy, please, in relation to their person. Oh, wow. Look at this. Capricorn's energy here in relation to their person. Please. Look, somebody's moving away. Somebody's moving away for a new start. Something that looks like is, you don't have to be moving away physically. Look, you got two cards here that you can see of walking away. And then I have the card of the chariot, which shows me movement forward. Okay, somebody might be moving away actually from a situation here. Okay, somebody that wants to have some kind of new start, one that has integrity is what I just heard. I don't know if your last situation or maybe this particular one that you've been in was lacking integrity, lacking truth, lacking even communication. Honestly, honest communication is what I'm getting here. Okay. Spirit, give me Capricorn's person's energy. You might physically be moving to another place. It's like your person is focused on work a little bit. Um, or you may just be moving emotionally, right? Just moving away from somebody. Yeah, it's interesting because I think you've had to gather up a lot of strength. Whatever happened here may have thrown you off a little bit. And it looks to me like you've had to gather up a lot of strength to be able to make this move. But you know what you want. You know what you're, you're willing to deal with, what you're not willing to deal with, most importantly. I think there was a real lack of... Um, Transparency is what I want to say here. Maybe a lack of honor. Oh, that's a big word, actually. Maybe your person was not acting very honorably. <laughs> okay. Give me one more card on Capricorn's person, please. How interesting. Look over here. Okay. In your energy, you have the Ace of Swords. and theirs, they have the Ace of... Uh, I keep wanting to call these different things batons because <laughs> all my decks call them something different. We'll just call it the Ace of Wands in particular, or for this particular reading. Wanting a passionate new start. Okay, let's see. What else? Ah, oh, yeah. So this person's been really focused on their work, focused on what they're building, what their investments are, but something about them, they're wanting to have some kind of passionate new start, something creative here. This might also be someone who wants to restart communication or start some kind of communication. Let me see what the connective energy is between Capricorn and their person. So interesting the way that this is falling. Honestly, if I'm looking, if I'm reading this, it might, it looks to me like you're actually trying to get the hell out of Dodge, either, you know, physically, very much so physically moving away or just emotionally moving away. You literally have two cards of movement here. Oh, connective energy. There's a lot that's been unsaid. There's a lot that's being hidden. There's a lot that's unknown in this situation. Or maybe even that is known that's not being spoken is what I'm saying. I'm definitely sensing a lot that's been unsaid, untold here. A lot that's been left to be a mystery. But look at this. This is the card of soulmates. It's the six of cups. Okay, this person is definitely someone from the past. I wonder if someone knows that you guys have some kind of, I don't know, very deep connection or feels very connected to you, but maybe they don't want it. Both of you guys are, look at this, you're both at like this crossroads. You're both kind of at this standoff, right? You're blocking your, you're blocking what you're seeing here. You're blocking your heart here. Um, yeah, you're not talking to each other. I definitely feel a crossroads here between two people, but more of a stalemate, so to speak, okay? There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of history here is what I'm feeling. So you guys might go way back. Um, if not, maybe you feel like this is a very deep, like I said, that's my card of soulmates too. So this could very well and definitely a past life connection. 
this could very well feel like a very deep connection. It's probably why, um, yeah, this would probably be why you are really trying to pull back, especially your energy, especially if you're, especially if you felt like there was a lot that was unsaid, a lot of, a lot that wasn't transparent for you. A lot that wasn't being shared is what I'm getting here. So I want to know, what is this person's intentions then with my Capricorns? Whoa, Emperor. Okay. What is this person's intentions here with my Capricorns? Mm, with the Queen of Wands here. What are their intentions here with my Capricorns? Wow, look at this. This is really interesting. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this, to be honest with you. I know that this person wants to restart some kind of communication here. Uh, they may actually come in like they're very much so in charge. Okay, the emperor can be a bit controlling, trying to control a situation because that's what they're accustomed to, right? An emperor runs whole kingdoms. All right, but this could also be a father figure. This could be someone very much so that it is a boss. Um, but I think they want to come in and show you that they're actually more so in control or take control maybe even of this particular situation, okay? They might be coming in with this Queen of Wands energy very passionate, very passionately. Oh, that's weird. I just got a big hit on this person. I don't know why they feel like you left them out. So you may have actually been the one that actually did the walking away here. Maybe they weren't expecting that, expecting you to do that. They want to come in, though, looking good, show you they've been working on themselves. This person may also be quite attractive, very fiery as well. You could also be dealing with a fire sign here. Yeah, um, but just show you that they're taking control, okay? The Queen of Wands is also someone who is a leader. They're a business person. Um, they may also see you in that energy, okay? I'm asking what their intentions are. They want to come in, like, very much so in charge, okay? And maybe, too... This Queen of Wands energy here, someone who actually exhibits that, someone who's very much in control, a good business person, someone who's very attractive, a real go-getter, um, very business savvy. I keep getting that. Something about your business acumen that really is being highlighted here, okay? But it's because they don't like being left out in the cold here, okay? Or maybe they know that they left you out in the cold. It's one or the other, all right? Regardless, I think somebody here wants to end this whole being out in the cold thing. Hmm. All right, well, so what are their feelings here then towards my Capricorns? How do they feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about Capricorn? <laughs> How do they feel about Capricorn? They feel like you're really playing things very close to your chest right now. Honestly, you're not giving them anything, any energy. Um, you may not be giving them any uh, emotion, any of the emotional comforts that you used to be. You're very focused, it looks like, on your money, building your empire, so to speak. That's a very much so a, 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 a very well-known Capricorn trade anyway, right? You guys are very business acclimated. You go after what you want. You create businesses. You could have done that too. They might see you as that. Somebody that's just really focused on your money and building your even generational wealth. How do they feel about Capricorn? They may also, though, be looking at you as someone who they can build with, but they know that you're not giving back at this point, whatever happened in the past. So this could be, by the way, this could be a family member, I suppose. It could have been a friendship or something like that, where feelings could have been developed as well, or just simply a platonic friendship. How do they feel about Capricorn? Wow, look at this. You, okay, you're being looked at as a very, very strong Capricorn, someone who's really standing in their strength, okay? And I can obviously see that here. You've, you've taken back your power. You've made the changes that you need to make. You are fully focused, it looks like, on doing your own thing, creating, like I said, focused on your business, focused on making money, focused on future stability, focused on moving forward with what you want as well, okay? This is showing where you have really taken back your strength. You see this person is actually wrestling and taming. You see, no fear whatsoever. Moving forward with their goals, no fear, right? Taming the beast, right? <laughs> 
getting yourself, getting really focused on what it is that you want and moving ahead. Hmm. So they see you as somebody that's very, very strong, okay, and very successful. How do they feel about Capricorn? Look at that, and highly intuitive. There may be a J or a B connected uh, with the name or with where you guys are from, something like that. Yeah, highly intuitive. Almost somebody who has reached heights that's almost unattainable, okay? Whether that is through your own intuition, whether that's through the things you've been able to build, they feel like you're someone who manifests what you want. You're very controlled is what I keep getting. You have a very controlled personality. So, you, you know, you may not have said two words to this person, just walked away, kept it classy, okay? Um, they feel like you're really intuitive, though, so you know things beforehand. You bring a lot of wisdom to the table, a lot of knowledge to the table. I almost feel, I hate to say this, because, I mean, obviously this person's trying to come through here as an emperor, but I feel like there's a stubbornness to this, too, as they're coming through. Um, cause they want you to see this side of them. It may not have been something that they were actually showing you before, but I feel there might be a bit of competition here. I hate to say that, but that's what I'm getting. Almost like they felt like, um, look at all this that Capricorn has. I don't, how am I going to compare? How am I going to compete? Which I don't like. Um, yeah, I can't compete with that. I can't compare with that. You know, that's why this person's been focused so heavily on trying to make their own money, on trying to um, even start things potentially on their own, maybe even things that you don't know about, right? So that they can make more money, so that they can reach greater heights. I think you've been a big inspiration to this person, Capricorn. All right, so what is this person's next move then? Towards my Capricorns, if any. Oh, yeah, look, though, yeah. Oh, wow, see, you got, this person has two aces. They have this ace over here, all right, which tells me they want to have a passionate new start, someone who is really kind of overflowing with emotions, someone who, who would like to have a new start, it looks like, emotionally, right, maybe share some emotions that weren't there before. I mean, obviously, you're moving away because you want something that's more authentic. That tells me somebody was not being authentic with you. They may come in trying to offer you somebody, uh, something, trying to give you this cup of love, right? Trying to show you some kind of emotions here, but oh, all right. But be careful, okay? This is definitely somebody that's trying to get away with something. So if there was some kind of uh, issue in the past. Let me see what it is actually before I put that in your head. <laughs> Always leery of doing that, right? So although we tell you, take what resonates. It's very difficult sometimes when you hear something, you can't really unhear it. Yeah, this person's keeping an eye on you in some way, shape, or form, or at least trying to figure out what it is that you're doing, where you're going, what you're feeling. Look at that. Yeah, because they feel like you're actually ending a cycle here. I think they're going to come forward with some kind of communication here. Now, when I see the page of swords, because pages are usually children to me, right? Um, it may not be, I want to say the most cohesive uh, communication. In a sense, it could be very quick, like innocent. You know what I'm saying? Communication. I also feel like this person is very, very curious about you and obviously what you're doing right now. Again, going back to what I said, especially if you've moved away. Or if they know that you've walked away from this situation, what's Capricorn doing? Who are they with? Um, again, how are they feeling? That keeps coming up for me because they do feel like you're ending some kind of cycle here. Are they truly done with me? That's what I'm getting. Wow. And then we have the card of temperance here. So I think they're going to come forward with you. They might be talking about, you know, trying to seem more emotional, trying to seem more balanced. I am going to clarify this card, the seven. But honestly, even their communication is, it might seem a little bit immature. And when I'm looking at a page compared to a high priestess, honestly, they may be more immature. Let's be clear about that. There could be an age difference here, or they may just present a little more emotionally immature than you are. This person definitely is going to be talking, though, about have you ended or where did you go? Like, they don't want you to really end things. They don't want you to end a cycle with, with them. But I feel like you have. I feel like you have and you've been able to walk away from that or that is what you're in the process of. Maybe that's what they're trying to stop here. I would keep in mind, and obviously these are general readings that so take what resonates. 
and uh, discern, you know, when this person tries to communicate with you, because I feel like they will just make sure that you're discerning, you know, with this person, are they being real? Or are they being genuine? Because I think what they're going to do is let you know that they have, they've spent some time rebalancing things. All right. They've been trying to get balanced in their, in their own life here. Okay. This is also, look at this. This is the card of temperance. It's a card about alchemizing. You see the two cups pouring into one another, right? I think that this person's going to let you know that. They want to build together in some way. I think they were trying to do that on their own, you know, so that they could actually step up to your level. I hate to say it like that because I don't really think anybody's ever beneath some, you know, another person, but a lot of people feel that way. Usually, I mean, you know, it's a self feeling, right? So if it's somebody doesn't feel like they're up to par with another person, or why would that person want me? Look how much they've achieved, which is exactly what I'm getting here. I think that had everything to do with why if they were seemingly secretive or not talking to you, um, not being clear about what they wanted, things like that, it's because they, they were seeing you. I feel like there was some inspiration here in terms of who you are and what you were doing. Something about your controlled nature is what I keep getting. So I might be talking to a very controlled Capricorn that doesn't show a whole lot of emotion. I mean, you can show that you care and stuff like that, but you're not going to. It just looks to me like, you know, they, they've seen you really strive and achieve a lot is what I'm getting. Yeah, and it can be a little bit intimidating is what I just heard as well. This person's going to tell you though that they want to have balance with you. Please clarify this, Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords spirit for the Capricorns, please? <laughs> yeah, the stinky part is they may have gone quiet on you, but they've been trying to manifest you back, okay? They've been trying to pull you back into their sphere. They've been doing whatever. You know, I don't know if this person is a magician. That's really interesting, right? Because magician is also a very powerful major arcana. Um, you know, they may actually see, look at this. This is a card of infinity. They may actually see forever with you. And instead of just telling you that, they were just trying to, I, I do think they're inspired by you in some way. So maybe they were just trying to, you know, if you were giving them encouragement, maybe they were trying to learn from you in some way. And then kind of step up to where you are, okay? Manifest the things that they needed so that they could feel like they were actually a match for you, all right? I think that may have been what they were hiding from you. So maybe coming in, they're not really hiding, um, but this has been what they've been hiding from you. They've been trying to manifest good things within their own life so that they can feel up to par with you and where you're at in life, but also trying to manifest you back, trying to manifest a conversation, trying to manifest some kind of interaction as they watch you. Looks like this person does have some love for you and will come in wanting to offer you some kind of, um, yeah, some kind of token of love, okay? Maybe just an expression of love. It's funny because I don't really see that coming out in this card here. It's almost like they're going to come across. I feel like they might have immature communication. I'm just going to be honest with you. Emotionally immature in a sense. Although they're trying to come across as the emperor and they may very well be that when they're not speaking, <laughs> right? And when they actually speak, because I think there will be nerves involved. I do believe that this is the way it's going to come out. So let me just see what this person might want to say to my Capricorns then. Spirit, what might this person want to say to Capricorns? Yeah, I want to feel that way again. So you obviously had a big impact on this person. You may have made them feel very loved. Um, I feel like you may have motivated this person in a lot of ways, whether you did it directly or indirectly, just through watching you. I mean, they've seen you achieve so much. They really do hold you in high regard here. Oh, it says, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So you could have also been going through something, honestly, when you met this person. They could have very well taken you by su surprise, honestly, Capricorn, in some way. Even if you were friends and then suddenly it turned into something more or even just a chance meeting. Um, yeah, it could have taken you by surprise because it, it might have been a nice distraction, honestly, from something else that you were going through or from things you didn't even know that you hadn't dealt with. Maybe you're a person that throws yourself into work as well uh, to avoid dealing with like past pains or traumas or something like that. And obviously, you can flip this up as well, but I am asking what they would like to say to you, okay? Now they know that you had some unresolved 
things, okay? And you just didn't see them coming. And I think the way that they kind of acted towards you or the way that they were kind of, it may have seemed a little dismissive or like they didn't have their heart in it. It just kind of made you, you've probably done a lot of work on yourself to be honest with you. And that is why you're like, I'm not sticking around for this. This is not happening. I'm going to go. I'm going to go work on myself. I'm going to work on building my finances, building my future. I'm not going to waste any more time in this. I think it really shocked this person. Yeah, finding out the truth crushed me. I'm telling you, I feel like, well, if you didn't go ahead and start moving on and dating someone else, then this is definitely you moving away from them, pulling your energy back, giving up is what I just heard. So maybe they feel like you gave up from them or maybe even just moving away, just getting up and moving away. Maybe they didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, it says the timing just wasn't right for us. What else spirit want like this person? Oh, okay. So this says I'm not available. That will not be... The case, I mean, that will be the case for some of you guys. Take it as it resonates. If, if you found out this person, remember this card. I kept saying I didn't feel good about this, but it looks like the magician. So even if they are not available, like really physically available, maybe they're with someone else that you know about, or maybe you don't know about it. They might still be trying to manifest you back in and wanting to have a conversation. Also, you could have found out, or maybe just intuitively that this person was in another connection with someone else, even though... They maybe they came in and just didn't expect to fall for you. That's what I just got very strongly. So, but they may not be physically available to be able to have that connection with you. You know, it's funny because I feel like if this was a friendship that kind of turned on a dime and became more of a relationship or friends with benefits or something like that, you weren't completely in the know about this person's life, is what I'm getting. So they may have just really wanted you, wanted to be with you. There could have been a lot of chemistry and they decided to go for it. That's not going to be the case for all of you. But this, this person fell in love. Look at this. They know you. They recognize you. They recognize your heart, your soul. They didn't appreciate that maybe at first. They appreciated the person that you were. I think you really inspired them in a lot of ways. I'm wondering if this is like a twin flame just because of the inspiration I'm feeling coming through this, this reading that you've inspired them to do better, to create in their own life, to be a better person. I feel like this person's really was inspired by you and was aspiring, right? To be more like you, to create more like you. There's a sense of this person, though, feeling like things might come easy to you. And I don't think that's the case. I mean, it could be, but I think you work hard for it and you do believe that, you know, your success is kind of guaranteed, and that is probably why you're able to create so efficiently. All right, so I'm going to end it with some, just a talisman maybe, or a rune here from Spirit. For my Capricorns, please. Oh yeah, how perfect. This is the one of need. So this is a rune of need. This is about transcendence. This is about the soul. This is about making those jumps, learning what you need to learn, moving forward, taking your uh, power back. Um, it's also about self-restraint, okay? So again, I think you really had to collect yourself in this situation because I feel like for a lot of you, this came in very quickly and left just as quickly, all right? It may have been quite heartbreaking for some of you, okay? But I think you had a lot of patience. You tried to, to be patient with this situation. It just wasn't providing the results that you needed. I do feel like there was a lot that was uncovered here. Maybe a lot that was unsaid. Yeah, there's a lot of things that were hidden in this. Okay, but this card is also one about disappointment, to be honest with you. All right, maybe you, expect, I don't know why I get a strong pull. I'm just going to keep saying this to a friend thing, okay? So if you guys were friends and it turned and then you ended up finding some other stuff or maybe that this person was not, you know, on this pedestal that you may have potentially put them on, okay? Because maybe they did have another situation or they just weren't speaking up. They weren't acting mature. They weren't being there for you, something along those lines. I think it did spark some changes within you, which are really good. Those changes could have very well been just, you know, being more faithful to yourself, loving yourself more so that you weren't dealing with that kind of behavior, which trust me, that's a huge step in the right direction. All right. 
Um, but it was, yeah, I think you had to show a lot of self-restraint in this situation and you had to move away here to really have your needs met or to feel like your needs were being met here. This was taking way too much. I feel like of your emotional state. Um, and so you decided just to refocus. All right. You may have walked away in some kind of disappointment, but I think you ultimately, you know, that you have to take care of yourself first and foremost. Yeah. And then this is a card. Look at that. This is actually a talisman that came out. It's all about good decision making, okay? It's all about receiving the help from others that you need to move forward. Um, it's also about having courage, all right? And understanding that you're divinely protected, all right? So I feel like you you know that your journey is moving forward, um, regardless of what this person is trying to do. Yeah, I feel like you, you understand that your journey has to move forward, all right? And I think you have gathered your courage. You have two cards here, actually, of courage, all right? You had the Leo card here, up here with the strength card, and now this talisman is talking about the courage that you have, all right? They're saying, be willing to accept help from others, but you're on the right track here. Making this bold move was the best thing I feel like you could have done here. They're telling me to get one more, interestingly enough, so I will. I mean, it's good if this person wants to have some kind of balance. Maybe they're trying to reformulate some kind of friendship with you or rebuild with you in some way or even build the bond back. I, I keep feeling a bond between you guys. So I have to feel like you guys either felt very bonded from the instant or you guys have had a long connection with one another, perhaps even a friendship prior. Yeah, they definitely want to have some kind of... Uh, they definitely want to have some kind of rebalancing, I feel like, with you. This is also a card to me of reunion, just so you know. And they are trying to manifest that. But for some reason, it's almost like you have the upper hand or they feel like you have the upper hand. They want you to pursue them. They want you to come back. But it doesn't look to me like you're doing that. And then we have the card of torch, okay? This is all about a new outlook. This is perfect for you. Have it following your inner guidance. Being enlightened to a situation, uh, feeling a sense of vision, okay, inspiration here, creation, knowledge, all right? I believe all of that just because of the way that your cards have fallen here, okay? We know that you're moving in a different direction, that you're really focused on your Ten of Cups and building the life that you want. You could very well even be building a business. I keep getting that, all right? But regardless, you're, you're making your money. You're really focused on your success and you're achieving that, okay? I feel like the sky is definitely the limit for you. All right. You do have a new outlook perhaps on this situation, but just on life in general. And I think that's all come through some sense of enlightenment that you received and very possibly due to this connection. All right, my lovely Capricorns, that's what I have for you guys today. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit, to hit the like button and certainly subscribe if you've not done so already. And I will see you guys the next time. Bye, Capricorn.